bet you're wondering what this is. My first guess was when I saw it, I can remember on my old washing machine, you know, top loader, you put this in the center, the water goes flushing through it and goes down through the, the, the water that's in the tub washing and it gets lint. You ended up with a bunch of lint. No, that's not really what it is. This is the lid to the OXO cold brew. We wanted to show you some of the different cold brew methods here today. Uh, we have so a few people in our organization that love cold brew. I have a couple of family members that love it. Uh, and what you get from this is a concentrate first off, or you can drink it just the way it is. And it's brewed with cold water, which makes it a lot less acidic. It's much smoother coffee. So anybody that has trouble maybe with stomach issues and stuff like that with coffee, you might try this, you never know. So I wanna start over here. This is the toddy, and the toddy has been around as long as I can remember. This, this is the first one I ever heard of as a cold brew that was manufactured on the market. This is the Soden. The Soden is a uh, porcelain or ceramic uh, container with a filter in it like this. You can use it for hot coffee as well, or tea. This is the Primula. This is kind of a, uh, I would call this cold brew on the run, you know, on the go. This is the Hario cold brew. This comes in two different sizes. This is the smaller one, the, the larger one's a little bit bigger. And then this is a new one. You won't uh, find it on our webpage when I do the airing of this, but it's gonna be up there shortly. And this is by OXO, and they make a lot of different kitchen gadgets, as you know, all kinds of stuff to do with the kitchen. How this works, with all of them primarily, is it's a proportion of water versus uh, ground coffee. And the ground coffee should be, it's of course up to you what you like the taste of, a little bit coarser than uh, a drip, but probably closer to a drip than you might think. This one, you put almost a pound of coffee up in here. I mean, this weighs a ton. And you do it in a sequence with water, coffee, water, coffee, and then you just, you don't stir it or anything, you just let it sit. And it has a plug that goes in the bottom right here. There it goes over there. <laughs> it's a plug, a rubber plug. And inside of here as well, in the bottom, there's a, uh, like a felt filter that filters out all the sediment. So you get a pretty clean cup of coffee with the toddy. This one has the filter that I showed you a second ago, which, <laughs> it just spilled that all over the countertop. That's a pretty fine filter as well that filters out a lot of the sediment. So that's gonna be a pretty, uh, as well, cup of coffee that's pretty clear. The Primula, you load this into a filter from the bottom, this unscrews and the filter comes out and you put the coffee in there. I, just by the looks of it, I can see it might have just a little bit more sediment in it. This is the Hario cold brew. Again, there's a filter down inside here, which filters out the, and it's very fine. It's a nylon filter, clean cup of coffee. I'm just gonna put that right back in there. And then the, um, the OXO, uh, has a stainless steel filter in the bottom that's fairly fine. And again, by looking at that, I would say that's a pretty clean cup of coffee as well. Like I said, this is typically concentrated. So you want to uh, dilute it, and then you can heat it in the microwave. You can make it any way you want. Uh, a lot of the people here just heat it up or else they put ice cubes in it, cold coffee. So that's the basic uh, lineup of the cold brews that we have. Some people use a French press. I find that the, uh, the filter in the French press is a little bit coarse, so you get a lot more sediment. Um, and then, like I said, the Soden comes in three different sizes, four, four different sizes, but we, I think we carry three. So there's something for everybody, and a larger uh, Hario as well. Check these out on our webpage, and we're gonna do a taste comparison. So check out that video when it comes out as well. It should be coming out, probably be posted right after this one. Check it out on the link below and thanks for watching.